All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started on an ethics video. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what's what happened, okay? So I got a comment uh, basically saying that I'm a bad parent uh, teaching my kids how to lie because of the circumstances and the way that I managed this particular situation. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, explain it to you guys and leave it to your uh, criteria. Again, I'm not, you know, there's no clear yes or no. Yes, you shouldn't or yes, you should answer this is more open to interpretation so it all started with this uh snake right here well actually it's, it, it all began with this snake he got infected his musk glands uh we were able to express them extract all the all the the cells that f uh, formed an abscess and we got him on anti antibiotics and he's he's good now i still haven't put the substrate because i'm going to give him a little bit more time Okay, so at the same time he was getting sick, we got this one that got sick. And I just cleaned his tub, and he's in the process of shedding, so that's why you'll see a little bit of humidity. But anyway, his musk glands got infected, and I got I got nervous because he, I'm, I'm going to show you guys his musk glands, but it got way worse. And mind you that I'm in Spain, I'm in Europe, okay, and prior to these incidents, I had I have lost two snakes. I have lost a lavender and I have lost a triple head, uh, sixty six percent, a lavender sable albino. Uh, both of them being females, um, to 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 different circumstances. So one of them I lost to dystocia, preovulatory dystocia, uh, my lavender female, and uh, uh, basically I called uh, several vets around my area. They all said that they can't attend me because we have venomous snakes and they can't risk their job uh, losing their hand. They can't risk, you know, being injured to a bite or um, any kind of a sustained accident. So they turned me away and I ended up losing it because I took matters into my own hand. And I did contribute to the death of my lavender because I thought it was, you know, impaction. So what did I do? I massaged it, ended up uh, tearing her her reproduction her uh, reproductive system. Okay, so I lost her. Um, and you know, part of me wanted to blame the veterinarians because they 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 wouldn't attend me. Uh, part of me, you know, I can't blame them uh, because this is you know I am in I I'm 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 living under these circumstances. So these are all self diagnosis. Um, they're not a hundred percent accurate as I'm not a professional. But I'd like to think I have an idea. So I'm not ignorant and I like to do my own research. Okay, so I lost two animals. Fast forward and then all of a sudden these two get infected. And hey, what do I do? Like, I'm not going to uh, sit here and just any animal that gets sick. I'm not going to let it die because nobody wants to see me. I, I, I'm, I'm obviously going to do what I can uh, do even though it's outside of my comfort zone. But the ultimate result is if I can't be helped, then my animals are going to die. So what did I do? I called my local veterinarian, the one, the very first one that turned me away, the closest one. And she asked me what kind of species it is. And I acted like I didn't know. I don't know. I think they told me when they sold it to me, it was a, a gutata. It was a corn snake. You know, it was a gutata. And she's like, okay, well, if it's a gutata, bring it in. There's no problem. You know, obviously, I can't say it's a it's a king snake, uh, because king snakes are illegal here in Spain. Uh, I can't say it's a hog nose because as of now they're gray area illegal. They're not a hundred percent illegal. There's no list saying if you have a hog nose, uh, you're you're doing things illegal. This, uh, you know, this is all in the gray area. There's no there's nothing set in stone, and obviously these are private businesses where people can say, hey, I I can see it or I can't see it. You know, because these are private businesses. It's not like there's laws protecting the animals. There's, you know, these laws that are in place are not really to protect animals. They're here to, to really just mess animals up because they think they're protecting them, but at the end of the day, they're not protecting them. Um, they're just uh, doing themselves a uh, disjustice and a disservice, and it's a disgrace to the hobby and the people who really have a passion for these animals. Okay, so I go into the vet and uh, I present myself. And she looks at the snake and she's like, what is this? I thought you said it was a corn snake. I was like, I don't know what it is. And she looked it up and she's like, it's a, it's a heterona sicos. It's a, well, if you say it in Latin, if you say it in Spanish, it, uh, it's, it's going to be heterona sicos. If you say it in English, heterodon nasicus, you know, whatever. Uh, the only reason I say that is because I've had criticism saying that 
and Latin, Spanish, and English. So whatever, whatever, however you want to say it, wherever you're from. So anyway, um, but she wasn't upset. On the contrary, she's like, okay, well, I'm going to look at it. She saw how well behaved these animals are. They don't have a tendency to bite, to strike, unless it's a feeding response. If you're at the vet, you're not going to have a feeding response. FYI. So she picked it up, and by the by the, the the by the fifth minute that I was in the office, a whole bunch of nurses or vet techs came run, uh, rushing in, uh, not to attend the animal but to take pictures, and they absolutely fell in love, and they took pictures of the animal. So the vet was like, it was her first time ever dealing with the snake. You know, she's had experience. But they're at her office. Uh, she's the only exotic vet that I have within an hour and a half radius drive. Okay. If you're still with me in the story. So these vet techs rush in. They take pictures. All of a sudden, you know, uh, this is one of the most famous snakes that is here in Spain. You got, you know, you got these. So they could have easily said, you know what? You lied to us. We can't see you. But they saw that these aren't monsters. And I, 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 you know, I feel like I got five people's interest, um, and you know, vet techs into not into the hobby, but at least they know that these are not dangerous animals. So did I lie? Yes. Uh, am I going to be condemned for lying and saying it was a gutata? I don't think so. I don't think so because in my heart and my capability, I was doing the same thing. You know, before opening the Tupper. You're going to check what animal it is. You're not just going to open the Tupper because if some guy told you it's a gutata. If you're a professional, if you're an expert in what you do, then you're going to check the animal before you handle it. Regardless, uh, you you don't trust anybody, right? You don't trust anybody uh, unless you know that person and you're going to take his his her, uh, his or her word for it. So she acted on on, on a professional impulse. She checked before dealing with the animal. After she confirmed, she proceeded in uh, attending me and helping me. And now, every time I need help, she does not only help me, but she teaches me and she shows me. And I'm very grateful. Uh, she's very knowledgeable. And I'm, I'm very pleased with this outcome, with this experience. My animals are getting, my animals have gotten better. And I've 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 made a relationship with her. She like she lets me take home antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, which is uh, illegal. It's basically illegal here in Spain. You can't you can't let somebody take home because you have to take account for everything that you have, all the medicine, you know. So technically, it's illegal what she's doing, but she knows you know we build a relationship. So that's the story, and 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 now I'm gonna show you guys the snake. Um, I'm gonna leave it to your judgment. Did I lie? Did I do the wrong thing? You know, you tell me. Leave it in the comments. If I'm a horrible person, let me know. If I'm a hero, you look, you let me know too. So this is this is his uh, his bulb tail, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put pictures. But I'm not lying. It was horrible. All the things and gunk that they took out. I'm pleased because we got it out. And from this point on, I believe he's going to get better. So, and then I'm going to show you this one. I'm going to show you this one. So that's why it's important to take all the gunk out. No matter the extremes. No matter the extremes. Like this one, you can't even tell. He's He's got that little bump that you see there. Okay? But they're back to normal. So, if you ever have an infected uh, snake gland... Not you, but your snake. If your snake has imp infected musk glands, you have to make sure that the abscess is removed. And before you cut the animal open, uh, make sure you kind of have to grind it. You got to, and I'm going to post pictures so that way you guys know. But if you don't take that abscess out, it's going to keep uh, reoccurring and it's going to be a habitual infection, being infectious and just, it, it'll eventually kill your, your animal because you're going to be giving it uh, antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, and your animal is going to keep being infected. So it's not a good recipe. So make sure all the abscess is 100% out. You do have to have a little cold hearted to kind of push your animal, uh, push those musk glands, kind of tear and rip a little bit apart. Most likely it'll be, uh, it'll be scabbed. It'll be hurt. It'll be red. It'll be 
very tender the snake is going to be sore for a couple days but just do it one time for the you know for your health of the animal and i promise you once you get all that stuff out you'll leave it alone and your snake's going to be happy uh, that it's not it's no longer pressured in that area and on the road to recovery and it's kind of a long video guys i'm sorry but if you listened all the way through i just want to thank you guys and um I'll keep you guys updated on the snake. Thank you guys.